So it's 54 grams of pins that I removed from that uh, train gizmo the other day. I'll put them right in there. Yeah, pretty heavy gold plated. I think they'll produce a tiny bit, but we're gonna find out exactly how much they do. I'm gonna add very little water. I'm trying to run these things hot when I'm trying to see what happens. Maybe around like that. That's about 50 milliliters. Yeah, just a little bit. All right, get some gloves on here. We'll add a little bit of nitric acid. We got some concentrated nitric acid here, folks. I'm gonna add, I'm gonna do this one about 50 50 maybe. Let's see how she goes. If we can keep from overflowing it, it's an important fact. I don't want it to overflow, but 50 50 mixture of nitric and uh, water to make a dilute nitric acid solution is very strong. I want to get underway pretty good here. So let's let that go for a little bit. Yeah, it's looking pretty frisky. I'm going to heat here. This guy. Move back, big boy. Move her back, big boy. Move back. There we go. Yeah, it should gonna rip there for a little bit. Now I'll watch it, make sure it doesn't overflow. If it gets a little bit too frisky, I might, uh, of course, take it off the heat and or add some water. Yeah, it's basically okay thus far. I'll watch it here for a little bit anyway. First bit of nitric's about burned off, so I got a little bit of nitric acid in here. Try and dose this guy just a little bit here. See how she goes. Okay, this one at first is hot, right? I don't want to just go crazy. There it goes. There's three milliliters. Yeah, look at it go though, right? Way up, right? I'm way up. Cooking now. Let's try one more shot, nice and slow. Yeah, let's put it in there. There it goes. Well, I gotta go, right? That's why I gotta be careful. Just a little bit. I'm straight up. I'm gonna let it ride like that for a while. I'll keep dosing it until we get uh, basically those pins pretty much gone. They're gone, baby. It looks <clears throat> roughly about every uh, minute or two. I can dose another three milliliters of nitric. So I got a nice full container there, 100. I've already added probably about 50 more, so we're up to about 100 already. And uh, and so, and I added a little bit of water too, about another 50 milliliters of water, so maybe about, uh, maybe 200, maybe a little bit more than 200 of total liquid in there now. But yeah, you see it's already under the 300 now. I hit it again here. I can hit them. I know I can hit it hard now. I don't have to drizzle it in no more. But after you hit it, of course, uh, I'm going to come up with smidge. Our fumes get a lot darker. You know. uh, they are dangerous. Never breathe that crap. And I got my fan exactly blowing right there. It swirls them and they go off into the nebula right through there. If you can see, <clears throat> you can see those pins getting real light there. Jumping around and kind of climbing up the side there a little bit. 
certainly are. Couple tiny, tiny pieces still fighting the program. I think I'm gonna call it right there though anyway. And uh, not add any more nitric. Cause it probably has a little bit of active nitric in there still. Yeah, there's a little bit of fumes, not much. Almost nothing. And almost no pins. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm gonna leave it like that and we'll, uh, yeah, we'll filter out those gold foils and put those in solution and, and then, uh, you know, drop that gold out and with some sodium metabisulfate. And we'll see what we get. That's right. Hey, folks, I got that uh, off there. It's not cold or anything, but it's cooler. I'm pour it right through here. I got a piece of cotton down in there in that funnel and that'll filter out the big stuff. I don't think there's any silver or anything in this stuff, but uh, no matter, we gotta filter off all that base metal. So there's a little bit of pins in there, isn't there? Look at that. Still fighting the program. Yeah, after juice those, maybe one more shot here. We're playing hard to get. Okay. Hey folks, while well, that's filtering, I added a little bit of water, a little bit of nitric to the remaining pins. I'll let them go here just for a couple more minutes, see if we can dissolve most of the rest of those guys. Not many left, but a little bit. More than I thought. Majority of our gold foils. So shabby, looks pretty good. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, I think these guys are kaput. Yeah, they're pretty light now. Okay, we got her. Now this for sure has got active nitric. A little bit. Mm -hmm. A tiny bit of reaction still. Pretty light though, right? And it flows right to the top, so yeah, there's not much base end in there. Not much at all. There's our pins there, folks. I think these guys are up. They're upside down and popping me in the hook there. I'll take it easy, Joe's. Wash the rest of mine. Okay, I hosed my video a little bit so I didn't turn you guys on. I added uh, some nitric, a couple, maybe about six milliliters, and uh, a little bit of sulfuric to that hydrochloric and water. Yeah, that's getting on them a little bit. Heat here for a few minutes. Switch you over. That should dissolve that pretty fast, just like that. Got them dissolved. Okay, good. Let that dude cool down here. And we'll uh, filter it out and drop our gold. It hadn't been too long, folks, but I'm going to pour it through there anyway. I got a nice piece of cotton down in there to give me some filtration. I don't need to check just to see if there's gold in solution because there was gold. Now it's gone. So that means it's in solution. <laughs> uh -huh. I'll check it here after. After we drop the gold, make sure we got all our gold back. That's the important function. We get it all sprayed out nicely. Yeah, we'll let that drip through there. Crystal clear solution looks like to me. So good. We'll uh, let that go. Yeah, we'll test it for a little bit of nitric, and then uh, once that's good, we'll uh, put some sodium metabisulfate in there. That'll uh, precipitate out the gold, and we'll see what we get. Yeah, folks, we got all that sprayed out of there real nice. 
have nice clean clear drops coming out of our filter. Actually, I'm just going to leave it right in this guy here. Leave it right in there. Let's see if we got any nitric in this thing here. Folks, I have some urea here. Put in a little bit of this, see if we got any active nitric in there still. Not much. Maybe zip point nothing. It's nice and clogging all that is that. Yeah, it's just that urea and solution that'll clear up, I think, in a little bit. There she goes, she's clearing up. Yeah, there's no nitric in there. Yes, we got a nice, perfectly clear solution again after that urea got absorbed. Got some sodium metabisulfate here. We'll put in a nice big scoop. Yeah, that should do it. <laughs> that should get her done just like that. We'll put a lid on it. Where's my lid at? What did I do with it? Oh, there it is. This ball. Oh, there I go. Holy smoke. Blasted out of solution. Look at that. Mm. Yeah, I'm sure that's plenty. I'll stick it up on the heat here for a few minutes. And then we will uh, take a look at it here and see what we get. Solution didn't clear up as well as I hoped, but it's okay. So let's sit here and cool off a little bit and we'll see what kind of gold we got on in there. It looks pretty settled out there. I'm just gonna pour that in this temporary stock, stock pot, nice and gentle. Be. A little bit of pure gold. Yeah, put a little hydrochloric in there. Clean it up a smidge more. See what we get. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks, looks spectacular. I can tell you instantly. Yeah, it's pretty good. Very nice. Okay. We'll throw that off and see what we get here, guys. We'll see what we get. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. That looks pretty wonderful. Yeah, we'll get it out of there. See how it weighs here. Yeah, we got that right out. I put it right on in that crucible there. We'll melt that up, see what we get. Mm -hmm. That's zircon encrusted. <laughs> yeah, a small bit of gold is hard to melt compared to a big wad. Everything is tougher when it's small. Oh, there it goes. There she went. Mm -hmm. Not sure about it. I've got it. About a smidge of scrudge on there still. Anyway, let me scruff off the scrudge and then we'll weigh it, see what we get. Stop acting up now, okay. 0.218, woohoo! Okay, there you go. Twice as much as what I thought. 